She's getting so big, guys. She's actually turning her head like a German Shepherd a little bit. That's unusual. She has never done that before. That's interesting. Currently, I'm watching Carly Bible on the TV. And I'm working on goblins for a festival. Not turning out that great, though, so that's that. Hey guys, I probably look a little tired and um, worn down. Uh, a few days ago, I had these strange heart pains in my chest, or chest pains, and uh, it started at 4 a.m. in the morning and continued until like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and then I took a bare aspirin to uh, calm down my heart and it was okay for the next few days but it felt like there w it's like a phantom pain where you kind of feel it there but it's not really there I had that for the last couple of days and then today it started hurting again I took half a bare aspirin today because the last time I took bare aspirin I got really dizzy very often when we were out and about because we went out me and my roommate went out uh, shopping a little bit and I noticed that I was just getting really dizzy and so I decided to only take half a bare aspirin today and it doesn't hurt right now but there's still that faint feeling where I I feel like it's gonna happen at any moment and I don't know I don't know what kind of pain it is. Uh, I used to have a heart murmur. I don't know if I still do. Apparently they can go away. It like, it comes and goes within a few minutes, like in minutes, within, within a minute actually. So I'll hurt and then go away and then after like 30 seconds it'll come back and go away. And it's just strange, but uh, after I took the bear medicine I just felt really heavy. Like there was just a weight holding me down. And I've been feeling like that ever since. I feel tired, but I'm, I don't feel tired at the same time. It's, it's a strange feeling. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you're probably going to tell me I should go to the doctors. Um, I will eventually. I can't right now because of, you know, financial reasons. We'll see next paycheck, which is this coming Wednesday. But we have to take Stinia to the vet because she has a UTI. I don't know if everybody's disclosed that in the last part of the vlog. Uh, last vlog of the month. But she has a UTI. At least I almost guarantee she has a UTI because she's walking and peeing at the same time. She's peeing often and she's drinking water whenever I let her out. to Out of her little encampment. Uh, the light will change periodically because I have... There, I'll change it back. Anyway, uh, so we think she has a UTI from eating her feces, which we're trying to figure out why she's doing it. She only does it when she's inside the house and when she relieves herself inside the house. When she's outside, she doesn't try to eat her poop. So I don't understand. <laughs> when she's inside the house, she, I, today, she got a hold of some because it was raining outside and she doesn't like the rain so she, she hasn't adjusted to going outside and going potty out in the rain yet. And I, I left to make some coffee and I came back and noticed that she was starting to go potty and I picked her up and got her outside and she didn't go potty at all. And I came back in and I had tears food on the floor because he eats off the floor because he's a fat eater. Sometimes but he's also a picky eater sometimes, I don't know, he's just strange like that. So he just eats off the floor. I can't have her eating the dog food, that dog food, it's adult dog food. So I put her in the cage, hoping that she wouldn't run straight to it, uh, especially with me around, but she did. She went straight to it, she got a hold of it, and I wasn't able to get it out of her mouth beforehand. And uh, I was able to pick up the rest of it, but she just, it was like bizarre, she just rushed to it like it was something she absolutely needed to do. Even when I was yelling at her not to do it, don't do that! No! She's staring at me right now. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but she still did it. I don't, I don't understand. I looked it up. It could be an illness. It could be defic deficiencies. It could be uh, stress. So I don't know what it could be, but I'm going to bring it up to the vet when we go on Wednesday. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why I said we might not go to the doctors right away because I have to get to the vet, pay some bills, and get groceries. And I don't know how much money we'll have after that. So I got a couple ideas for videos that I plan on doing in the future. I got to figure out when I'm going to do them. My roommate's watching her cousin's son. And she watches them from Tuesday to Friday, and that's when the only time I'd be able to film because that's when Zach's at home. Or it's Saturday, I can film Saturday too, but either way, I have to uh, figure out when to film, put makeup on while she's, while Cindy is still out and about running around, and then put her in the cage in hopes that she just falls asleep and doesn't whine, and then I have to film. I have to get everything out and film as quickly as possible. That's the problem we have. Uh, so I do have a couple of things planned. I have a mental health video planned. I got to still research it more, write it down. I said that in the last part, last, this month's last vlog. Mental health video, back to that, sorry. I do plan on making one. And I plan on making a uh, declutter video. And, and I have to work on a cleaning video eventually. So that's the plan. I'm going to head off now because Zach's about to come downstairs. So see ya until the next part of the vlog. So I wanted to show you guys the vitamins and medications I take every day. Because I know that some of you are still interested in my mental health and my health in general. So I'm going to show you what I take. First and foremost, I take Abilify. I'm not going to show you the bottle because it has you know personal information. But I take a Bilify, 15 milligrams. It's not a lot, but it's also not working very well lately, and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Um, I've been taking it for years, so it was working for a good while. But as of recently, I've been starting to see things again, and I might have to go up in medication. But I'm waiting to see if I can lose weight first before going up in it, so if I need to go to a medication that does not cause me to gain as much weight, then I can try it. I want to also show you the vitamins I give my pets. This is the Nutri Vet Hip and Joint Vitamins. I give this to Tear. They're 122 for dogs. I give them half one, although it says to give them a full one in the morning and a full one at night. No, it says one half chewable per 40 pounds of weight twice a day daily he's 60 something pounds so I give him half of one just in case um, and I only give it to him at night so I probably not giving him the amount that he needs for say but it's it's something I give this to Sinya the Roku and Ro Roxy urinary tract health supplement for dogs because right now she has UTI. So uh, it has cranberry in it. It's uh, support kidney, bladder, and urinary tract health. I give her only half of the half a supplement a day because it's supposed to be uh, up to 25 pounds when chew. But Zach was paranoid about it, so we only give him give her half because she's 13 pounds right now. We also give her Zesty Paws Calming Bites at night because she's still kind of getting used to the cage. I might not need to give it to her anymore. Here, let me just focus. I might not have to give it to her anymore because she does calm down when I'm inside the bedroom with her. So we'll, I'll try it tonight and see if she really needs it or not because I need to buy more if that's the case. I give Tear on Saturdays. Veteran recommended Vet IQ calming treats on Saturdays and only on Saturdays because I leave him in a cage for a longer period of time because we have game night and uh, I don't want him getting restless too much. I kind of give this to let him calm down and relax and maybe go to sleep. Uh, but this is what I give him. I give Zach and I, let's see, magnesium glycinate. I think that's how you pronounce it 40 milligrams for 100 milligrams 40 milligrams that would suck 
and it has 180 veggie capsules in it. Uh, we take one a night because it's supposed to help you sleep and it helps you with a whole bunch of other things too, but we do it mostly to help us sleep because Zach has sleeping problems. I do it for health reasons. This is the one, this is the type of magnesium my mom recommended for us. Uh, I was taking the regular one that you get from Walmart. They have these type at Walmart, but they're really low uh, milligrams. Uh, but uh, they have another version that's kind of like the junk version of magnesium, and that's the one I grabbed, and I didn't know that that was the junk version, so I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of those pills. I give this to Zach every night. Two vitamins uh, equate men's daily multivitamin adult gummies. He gets two of these a night, and that's all that he gets. I take omega 3s. Let's see if I can zoom in. Omega 3s, 500 milligrams. I take one of these a night. I forgot about them that I had them because they were behind some of the other vitamins. So I forgot about them um, until recently. So I haven't been taking them for a little bit now, and I just started taking them again like two days ago. And here's the iron uh, vitamins. I want. I should be taking every other day. But I haven't been taking them as of lately because I don't know why. I just haven't been taking them. Um, that's all that I really take that or my family takes. Uh, the rest of them are like cold medicines and uh, urinary tract medicines in case I have problems with my you know, urinary tract. Uh, Motion sickness pills are in there for when I play Warframe because I get really motion sickness when I play Warframe. So I have motion sickness pills for that. I don't really get them too much with other games. Warframe is just a fast running game where you run really fast and stuff like that. You do a lot of movement and there's a lot of passing movement. So I have to take motion sickness pills just to play Warframe. Um, there's Barum Aspirin and cold medicine. That's all that's really in there. Yeah, that's all that's really in there. So I hope that that helps give you guys some kind of an idea what our health is like. Although I've been having health issues as of lately. Let me tell you about the hallucinations I've been having. Um, just small things per usual. Except for one day when I was, I had the camera for, camera on for the front camera of the house so I could see who's arriving. I was waiting for Zach to get home one day. Because I like to see when he comes down the down the hill so I can get the door unlocked. And uh, I kept seeing a person, a man, standing in the middle of the uh, bottom of the driveway. And it was always flashes. So I would, I would look at the camera, see them, and flat look away because I'm just glancing in general to see if Zach's coming down the hill. And um, it would go away. But it was definitely a man that I saw standing there. And it, the camera, if he were to run away, I would see him still running up when I glance back. So, uh, I don't know what I was seeing. I didn't think that schizophrenia would cause you to see things on cameras. Uh, it's strange. I've never experienced this before. But it happened for like, it happened like four times in a row. Um... It was, it was, it was something. It didn't scare me or anything, it just it made, it made me like, what? So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to cut out, not cut out, but eat less carbs and uh, noodles and bread and rice and cheese also. Because of my heart issue that I just told you about recently. Um... Just in case it's something to do with that, because I eat a lot of noodles and uh, a lot of carbs. So let's see. Let's, let's see if I lose any weight from it too. <laughs> but that is it for the vitamins and everything else. Sorry that it's a little dark in here. I just wanted to update you guys on my health. Uh, so I told you guys in the beginning of this vlog, I think that I've been having on and off heart pains and discomfort around the chest. I've also been getting, feeling groggy and heavy and dizzy. And um, learned that I needed to go to the, the doctor. 
doctors. And I called the doctors around here, urgent care and all that. And they said that they can't do any tests there that I have to go to the ER. So we went to the ER yesterday. Nothing's seriously wrong, so no worries there. It just, it's trying to remember what happened is the problem I'm having at the moment. We went there, I had to eat. Oh, oh. What? What, do you need to go outside? I was correct, she had to go potty. <laughs> anyway, I had the EKG done at the first thing I got, did when I got there. Um, and it came out a little high from what they said. But they didn't seem alert about it, so I didn't really consider anything. And then I had my blood drawn and I had a x-ray, I think, done. I say I think because I'm I don't, <laughs> not really sure what it was. I think they said it was an x-ray. <laughs> Um, and everything came out negative. Nothing was life nothing is life threatening wrong with me. They think that the possible cause of the pain is heartburn, a certain type of heartburn that makes you feel like you're having a cardiovascular issue. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. And a it could also be a uh, term that they use. I don't remember what it was where the muscles in your chest like hit each other or something along those lines and they cause like a heart heart issue not heart issue but they feel like a heart issue and uh it's just them tightening or hitting each other or something along those lines I don't know how he described it really uh, I was just in shock that <laughs> everything was okay I thought if something seriously was wrong um I normally don't go to the doctors at all even to the hospital is even more or less than I would normally go to uh, and it had to be something serious that I was like okay I have to go to the to the hospital and it was serious enough for me to think that and then nothing was seriously wrong um, my heart currently does not hurt at right now at the moment it was hurting earlier today uh, they told me to eat healthier and to take Prilosec for a few days to see if that will lessen the pain. And that's what I'm doing. Um, on the side note, Sinia's health, the UTI and all that jazz. I finally was able to get her to go to potty in a cup. And I had Zach take it earlier this morning. And they were supposed to call me 15 minutes after they received the sample. They haven't called me and it's been an hour. And I tried calling them and I went straight to voicemail, so I'm assuming they were on lunch. Uh, I'm gonna try to call them back after this, after I'm done with this part of the vlog. Unless they call me in between then. Um, so I'm waiting to see what the test results are. It cost us again like $95 just to get the, you know, sample through. And it's gonna cost us even more if she has to get medication. And I still have to pay you for a hospital bill now. I'm so happy right now. I'm so glad that things are going the way that they are. I hope you can tell the sarcasm that I'm giving. Anyway, uh, so just eat healthier. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I haven't been working out since this heart thing started happening, just in case it was something serious. I'm gonna get back to working out on Monday, and I'm gonna go full force on it again. And I think that's all I need to tell you. I think that's all I need to update you guys on. I don't have a lot of time to talk because my camera's dying. I wanted to update you guys knowing to let you know that my heart's still been hurting. It hurt really bad today. More than usual, which was surprising. It still hurts right now. And I've taken ibuprofen, Tums, not at the same time, but at different times to see if either would work. Um, I've been on Prilosec. Prilosec, Prilosec, sick, <laughs> whatever. I've been on that and it obviously isn't working. It's been s since Thursday and today's Wednesday of the next week. Um, it's not working. It's supposed to be 24 hours before it starts working and it's not working. This is what it says in the box. Uh, so I don't know if it's actually heartburn. I don't know what it could be, but I need to see a primary doctor to 
figured it out. And I was going to go to the Walmart one, but they're closing all the health stuff they're doing at Walmarts. Why? I don't know. But uh, my even my roommate got a letter because she went to well, the Walmart health center once and he sent her a letter saying we're no longer doing that practice. So I have to go find another doctor who won't cost an arm and a leg. Uh, just to see if it's something else. It could be something else. I've been trying to eat healthier. But I have, I will be honest, had some chocolate recently. Because of female reasons. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But I don't recall eating anything really unhealthy as of lately. I've cut down my carbs a little bit. Like Zach wanted me to. I'm trying to think. I'm, I don't remember anything. I don't remember eating anything too terrible. I've been drinking nothing but water and, well, coffee. Nothing too sodium, but of course everything has sodium in it, so it builds up after a time. I don't know what's going on with me. But I do know that I no longer have my heart murmur. I don't know if I brought that up. I asked the doctor to check, and he says he didn't hear anything. So my heart murmur might be gone, which is cool. I thought I still had it. <laughs> right now, I'm going to get to work on Between Monsters and Men's video. And I'm working on the notes for the next video after that. Uh, Sinya is in her cage right now. So I can get some work done on the computer since Zach is doing the yard right now. And I don't know.